My name is Alexander Nikulic. I'm a freelance PowerShell and Azure trainer. Uh, I provide trainings uh, mostly in Europe. I started when it was still called Mona, but to be honest, uh, I didn't understand it very well at the beginning. And I thought that's something for developers, much more than for admins. But uh, I was attracted to it somehow, and I tried it for, for a month, but it didn't click somehow. And I waited a little, and then when they announced it as a PowerShell, as a first public uh, beta release, uh, I downloaded it again, and something changed. I'm still, after all these years, not sure did they change a PowerShell so much between Monad and a PowerShell release, or was that change in me, so that I kind of pay more attention of what's going on there. And uh, so it was not f love at the first sight. Uh, these days, I use a PowerShell to work with Azure. That's my main thing, really. And I spend a lot of time working with the Azure PowerShell team, trying to help them to make uh, commandlets better. I also work a lot with a team that is responsible for Azure Cloud Shell, which is just an amazing new feature in Azure. And uh, DSC as well for configuring machines. And I'm trying to just uh, uh, teach others how to use it, how to, to see the value of it. And uh, recently, I started using other automation tools more. So I'm now interested in how to actually combine PowerShell with some other tools to get the best value for me and to kind of show people that they need to go a little bit beyond PowerShell even for the things that they do now with the cloud computing, because it's not enough just to work with the PowerShell anymore, I think. The, the, the great value is actually when you start combining different automation tools, working on a different uh, operating system. So it's not important anymore, actually. Are you managing from a Windows or from a Linux? Are you working on a, your Mac to do stuff? And it's very exciting, really. I mean, the, we live in a very exciting times now with uh, lots of changes. I think that, in general, it's important to uh, do automation. And uh, PowerShell is great for that, right? So it's not the only automation tool, but it's a really good one. And uh, uh, it can help you to work with some other tools as well. And I think that's something that I'm focused now. Because I see that, that with uh, open sourcing PowerShell and creating a cross-platform PowerShell, there are a lot of opportunities now to introduce PowerShell to people that never look at it before, because they thought maybe that it's only for Windows, right? For Windows admins, for managing Windows operating systems. And uh, that changed. Uh, and the, the changes will be even uh, bigger in the future. So I expect a pretty bright future for, for PowerShell in this new cross-platform world when people are working in a heterogeneous environments. And uh, it's not just like I'm working only with the Linux boxes and that's it, or I'm working only with Windows boxes and uh, I'm not interested in anything else. So now you can, you can switch back and forth different things. And uh, I presented here a couple of sessions that are just about that, different automation tools and how can you use a new uh, Visual Studio Code, which should be a new editor for working with PowerShell, but not just PowerShell. So now it's very easy to switch between different shells that you use. So in the same five minutes, you can be in a Bash shell and then switch to a PowerShell and then switch to Azure Cloud shell, all from the same GUI, which is for me really just the magic. Uh, it, it's, it's just amazingly. In, uh, interesting to me how smooth that process is. And I've got some feedback from the attendees here that they are surprised actually how nicely all that works. And that's probably the, the best uh, thing now for me that uh, I can kind of uh, mix different technologies from different uh, operating systems and, and work nicely on all that from the same development environment. And I'm not even a developer. I mean, I'm an IT pro guy. But uh, just uh, that access to a different tools from same machine when you can have a feeling almost that you are working on a Linux environment completely, but you are actually working on Windows 10, 
Uh, I really like the Windows subsystem for Linux that they created recently. This is really, really kind of a big change for me. Uh, I never worked with Linux before, but now I'm learning a lot about it. And uh, mixing that with the uh, open source PowerShell is really great. What I have learned new? Uh, so I'm learning new things uh, uh, almost on a daily basis, really. And, and I, I like to uh, tell people that uh, I never miss unplugged session with Jeffrey Snover. And that session is for PowerShell beginners. But every time when I have a chance to watch it or to or watch it offline or online at the conferences, I do that and every time I learn something new. So can you imagine how much new things can you learn here when you have more than 40 PowerShell experts from all over the world, right? And uh, we have a couple of sessions that I think are seriously like a historic sessions. And once when the recordings will be available publicly, people will rewatch them and rewatch them because the knowledge that it's packed in those one hour sessions or 45 minutes uh, sessions is just amazing. And you cannot get everything in just one watch. Right. So you, you need to kind of do it a couple of times to try something new. So we are really lucky that we got the, the best from partial team and uh, extremely knowledgeable uh, community experts to speak at this conference. I think that uh, what is the most important here are two things, people and passion to learn. And then actually the third thing, passion to share what you know. So people and passion, that's, that's the thing for me. Every time when I think about PowerShell Conference, that's it. Because we have great sessions, but a lot of things are actually happening between the sessions and after sessions. When people are networking and they are asking questions and all speakers are uh, here to share the knowledge, not just through prepared sessions, but also during lunch breaks, during the coffee breaks. And for me, that's the best part of it. For me, coming here is uh, almost like uh, coming to some kind of a family reunion, because uh, uh, every time we get uh, new attendees and new speakers, but we also get a lot of uh, attendees and speakers. They are speaking here for a couple of uh, years now. And we have a couple of speakers that don't speak in any other conference, actually. So this is the only chance to be in with them for a couple of days and to exchange uh, knowledge and some ideas, which is really valuable to, to me. I mean, I travel a lot, and, but I cannot be everywhere to, to meet them. So if we have something like this every year and we can count on it uh, as a kind of a meeting point, that's really something that I like uh, about the conference, and uh, I need to mention uh, uh, Tobias Welton, because the work uh, that uh, is behind this conference organization, I mean, organizing this conference is just amazing, seriously. I think that uh, the, the attendees and also the other speakers, and including myself, we only see the tip of the iceberg of the work that is behind all this. It's just amazing energy, and this conference cannot exist without him. So he's the main guy, really. He is just the main spirit that connects all of us together.